Boom. Boom. <laughs> what is up, everybody? Thank you for joining me for Let's Ball with College Hoops 2K8 Season 2. I'm Jay Dumont. All right, so our whole lineup looks confident. Um, haven't played in a while, so I've got a kind of figure out what I was doing. All right, so we have to set everyone's training. Wow, Lori looking really good. So let me just do this quickly. Theodore Hawkins inside scoring. Well, the Doyle will keep his shooting going. Ferdinand get his shooting going. Bronson. Defense, defense. Ernest Crisp. Elmer Urban. Ransom. Lucky. Fellers, I'm not worried about. We're not going to be keeping him on the roster. Alright. So we did the whole team. And we have bonus drills to do. No, we did our, this week's bonus drills. So, um, I believe we're ready to simulate through and play Washington. Elmer Irvin is unhappy. You should meet with him to boost his confidence. So Elmer Irvin went from being a starter to not getting much minutes right now. Let's watch College Hoops tonight. 4-1 and one so far on the season. Hi, everyone. I'm Greg Gumbel at the Anchor Desk with my partner, Clark Kellogg. Coming up on College Hoops Tonight, we'll unveil our choices for the top 10 mid-major teams in the NCAA, as Ooh. well as take a look at all the exciting games of the week. But we begin with a special player who was an easy choice as our player of the week in college basketball. Udesway had a fantastic week. Udesway. He dominated the action from his power forward spot. And that's no easy task in college basketball these days. Now it's time to reveal our list of the top 10. You see Davis, baby, number basketball. 10. You're looking at the future Cinderella's of the NCAA tournament. I just love talking about the non-power conference team. This is the kind of stuff that gets me fired up for March. A couple of these teams have the potential to be very dangerous in the tournament. No one more so than the team at the top of the list. Gonzaga is a team that I'm not sure should even be included on this list because the schedule they've played could have put them in the toughest conference in the country. When you're a mid-major team, yet play that kind of schedule and still have a decent record, that says an awful lot. There were some fantastic matchups this past week, so let's take a closer look at them in our Games of the Week. We were treated to a matchup between two teams in the top 25. Texas did away with Indiana. Eight Most for eight three-pointers like by Cool. makes their job easy. When you've got two ranked teams like this going up against each other, you can just sit back and see who should go up and who should move down. Cool was a man possessed. His 29 points led all scores. Watching him basically put his teammates on his back and single-handedly carry them to the victory in a big game situation like this was stupendous. And next up, let's look back on another great contest from the past week. Duke was victorious over Florida. Well, Greg, this game wasn't decided until that final buzzer sounded. A couple of different bounces one way or the other, and this could have been a totally different outcome. 
do was deadly from long range. Their three-point shooting made a huge difference. I don't know if they came into this game with a plan to attack from long range, but that's definitely the way it turned out. And when you keep knocking down threes again and again like Big they were, fella. it just deflates the opponent. Look at that guy. That'll do it for us here in the studio. For my partner, Clark Kellogg, I'm Greg Gumbel. Thanks for watching College Hoops Tonight, brought to you by State Farm, the number one auto insurer. Enjoy the exciting week of College Hoops action to come. All right, so we play Washington, who is currently number 17. They lost the game. And uh, let's check our player stats so far. So Webb's doing a lot. Obasohan, Obasohan. W.C. Laurie, Theodore Hawkins, averaging 8-8, eight and eight. Fountain Marie, Muhammad Doyle, so everybody doing their thing. So this is a big game, so let's get right into it. Number 17, Washington. See how we match up. Well, their weakness would be their defense. Let's get it. Really like this team I'm fielding though. It's time for it's a good team. On 2K Sports, the UC Davis Aggies square up against it's got pretty much Huskies. everything I wanted. Hello, we kind of lucked out with Theo Hawkins. We didn't recruit too well. Alright, so here we go. I haven't played in a while, so I might be a little rusty. I like Hawkins though. Newspapers don't win basketball games. He knows all the members of the media have said they should dominate this game, but he and his players know it isn't that easy, and they prepare nice for this game just like a real. Oh, get it out! Phenomenal hops help him get a lot of shots. He also has great instincts, a nose for the ball, and a feel for meeting the shooter's release point. Bounces it to the free throw line. Hmm. Hit the left iron, but missed by Obasola. And it's still a tie game. Stalwart dumps it off. Tips the Huskies will get this one back. Playing in Washington. Gatlin gets it right wing. Gatlin inbounds the ball. Got Chris Gatling out here. Oh, got me. He got me. V Gatling. Ooh, that was ugly. Uh, 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 uh. Good on number two. All right, so let's get into it. Has it right wing? Well, dishes to the high post. 
backs in. Uh, why'd I do that? Well, the game just slows down for him to the point he sees things that others don't. It was so hard. Inbounds the ball. Passes it to the baseline. Sohan beats it to the left wing. Dumps it off. The run shot this. Is running down. Webb backs him down, pulls the trigger. Gatlin scoops it up. Goff brings it up the floor. UC Davis has a pretty young lineup, Vern, so establishing chemistry together is going to be an issue for them. Passes to the stripe. Child catches it in the paint. Stalwart dishes it to the baseline. Harry Giles. He did a nice job of determining what the defense gave him, and he took it. We see it so often, that area from 10 to 15 being a sweet spot. Right side, Webb fires from the wing. Gatlin pulls it in. Right around 17 minutes left in the half. Not a good start. Skips it to the inside. Throws it up. Grab by Webb. But they're still out in front by five. Marie. Hawkins gets it out left. There we go. He's got two. Diallo inbounds the ball. Stalwart at the controls. They're bringing the double team. Oh, get back. Get back. Goff goes up. Goff yanks it down inside. Ah. Oh. Oh. Pick up the pace here a little bit. Foul shot is good for a three point play. There's no question what kind of defense they're in, Vern. Minimum. Pass left wing. Takes it up. Yes. In there. Gets the second to fall as well. Alani inbounds the ball. Right around 16 minutes left in the half. Place here. Has it on the elbow. Well, gets it to four. And they're out in front by six. Far side. Laurie. In goes there. Up. Hits the layup. Nice. Freezes the D. And they're now behind by four. Stalwart brings it up the floor. Gone. Beats it to the wing. Alotti gets it left side. Keep this D up. Ah! The three pointer was offline by Giles. They've still got a four point lead. He has it. He gets it. Get to the line. That's what scorers do. Get 
to the foul line. Kind of punch away at this lead. Nice. Alotti inbounds the ball. About 14 and a half minutes left in the half. Stalwart dishes it to the right wing. To the free throw line. Passes it to the elbow. Stalwart swings it to the wing. Alotti has it on the free throw line. Raises Good D. Oh, that's a 24 second violation. They increase their lead to four. Over Sohan takes it up. He can't get it. His first personal match picked up his first foul of the game. Jumping for our pump fakes. And he makes the first. He gets them both. Alotti inbounds the ball. Mm. Under 14 minutes left in the half. All right, well, we stopped the bleeding a bit. We're only down two. The yellow backs in. Catches it out left. Alotti beats it to the wing. Offensive board by the yellow. Ah. Got a rebound. Shooting two. This is a big game for us early in the season. He gets the second to fall as well. Low block. Webb backs him down. Give me that. Uh. Gets the board inside. Just over 13 minutes left in the half. Dishes to the elbow. Stalwart. Mm. The steam. Give me that. The D was really waiting for him there. That's how you do it. Keep the heat on. Wait for the misstep and then capitalize. Alotti inbounds the ball. Stalwart brings it up court. Well, uh, gets the ball to the reach, and that's his third foul. So the Washington comes. Third he foul. To things up just a little bit, and this could be an excellent move. The group of kids on the floor play with great chemistry. Why wasn't I paying attention? I didn't know he had three fouls. Washington makes it. Yikes. Good Doyle and. Leave Hawkins out there. They have to rebound, guys. Well, let's get back to the Doyle makes his first appearance. I didn't even know he had two. That's what I meant to say. Passes to the right. Goes up. Good job. They're playing man to man here, Vern. Hook has it on the strike. Nice pass. Get in there. Hicks inbounds the ball. Just over 12 minutes left in the half. Gatling backs down. Uh, 
Rebound is recovered by Obisoan. Doyle to give them the lead. Mm. Stalwart grabs the rock. Look at this little guy. Getting it done down low. Oh, love to see him in there. Hicks. That last basket was buried by Hicks. Gets it. Left wing. Right wing. From deep. Yanked down inside by Hicks. Hicks grabbed that rebound with his elbows high. Using a little intimidation. Dumps it inside. Gatling backs him down. Pulls on it. <sighs> there in front. Gatling. to 14. Doyle. Behind the arc, Alani gets the rebound. Right around 11 minutes left in the half. He'll make that one most of the time. Well, the D got a break on that one. Dishes it to the stripe. Feeds outright. Gatling, nice little Good cross. D. Nixon. Play some D here. Outright. Top of the key. Glory shoots it. There we go. They draw to win the three. Stalwart brings it up. Passes to the right. Nixon. Passes it back to the right wing. Stalwart ends it off. Keep the six man quiet. Passes to the free throw line. Releases from 16 feet. Is a Nixon. He's got four. Glory. Over Sohan. Dishes to the left side. Backs down. Tucker was just sitting in the paint. And the ref's going to call it questionable. They're going to shake things up a little bit with some subs. Hicks inbounds the ball. About nine and a half minutes left in the half. Lead pass down low. It's good. Nice lead pass. Set that one up. Coach Davis wants to talk it over with his troops. Hey, if you've got the timeouts, you might as well use them. You can't take them to the bank. Come on, guys. We need some energy here. Getting some the ball. The Aggies can't let this get out of hand. McElroy. Catches it, left wing. Skip pass, baseline. Here you go. Nice speed by Williams. But they still trail by five. Gatling takes it up. Uh, it right in. They bring it oh my gosh. Stolen by Gatling. Bricks it off the back of the rim. But they're still up by seven. The heck of Roy, baby. They're now behind by five. About eight and a half minutes left in the half. Giles passes it up court. Nixon yes. That's going to be over and back. You've got to be careful around half court. You can't just drift around back there. Williamson inbounds the ball. Goes to the crossover. Nice. By Marie. Sweetness. They gave him a look and paid for it. Nixon has the ball. Right wing. Skips it to the strike. Stolen by UC Davis. McElroy will bring it up for himself. Nice. <laughs> McElroy, baby.
Let's get led better in the game. That's got three fouls. That sets us back. Have to do it without him. We're hitting our freebies. Yes. Give me that lead. That better already making a difference. Nice. <clears throat> so we're clawing back here. Right into a one point lead. Stalwart bounces it to the right wing. Gatlin gets it on the strike. Stalwart, nice little crossover. This Gatling guy's killing us. Nice play. They're ahead, twenty nine to twenty eight, right around seven minutes left in the half. The crossover to the strike. This is the guy that's killing us. Nice. Ah, I was running the other way before I had the ball. Credit to D there. They reacted quickly enough to throw him off. Dishes it to the left wing. Ledbetter backs in. Williamson feeds it to the corner. Hands it off. Run something. Williamson catches it on the free throw line. Oh, lead better. Lead better. Pull down that offensive board like it was no problem. Making a big difference. Feeds left wing. Doyle with the crossover. Marie gets it right wing. Williamson kicks it out to the perimeter. Marie tosses it up. Mm -hmm. the mark with the free ball. They're still up by one. It's uh. up, but it's recovered by Washington. Diallo dumps it off. Right wing. Skips it to the free throw line. Marie corrals the miss inside. The D really did his job there to make him change the shot. Crosses it over. McElroy passes to the right side. Ledbetter. Run something here. Dumps it to the paint. And one. Ronson McElroy playing big. Hasn't had a good game so far, and he's going to sit down for a while. I'll take it. So we've got this five out here. Bronson's rolling, so we'll let him out there. No, we'll get Theodore Hawkins back in. Let's keep playing defense. Getting down the ball. Hawkins is needed out on the floor. He didn't get much of a rest. Catches it on the elbow. Stalwart dishes to the left. 
High post to end their drought. It was they narrow the gap to two. Dumps it to the paint. Hawkins nice. finishes with the soft touch. He's got four. Washington has had serious problems with their interior defense. Uh, double team cost me. We have to be more physical in the paint. Don't be afraid of some contact. Sounds like he'd rather have some fouls called than to keep giving up all those easy baskets. Thanks, Tracy. Packs on the free throw for the three point play. Hook inbounds the ball. Over Sohan. Bounces it to the middle. Puts it up. Snatched by Diallo. That could be a lift for the defense. When you stop a score like him inside, it's always a boost. Hayton has it right wing. Backs down. Giles. Hayton for the lead. Over Sohan. Yanks it down inside. Big fella with a tough rebound. No denying him on that one. Ledbetter beats it to the high post. Mm. Williamson, no good from three-point land. But they're still out in front by one. Hicks backs him down. I got him. Skips it inside. Eight. To take the lead. That's nothing but that. They lead by one. Listen to the crowd guard. This kind of excitement is why I love college basketball. Passes it to the wing. Hunt catches it. Top of the key. Uses the crossover. Releases. The three-point is <sighs> missed by Oversoan. 227 left in the first half. Intercepted. Yeah. I'd love to see that. He was lurking around then pounced. Such a deep burn. Let them. Has it left side. Give it to Hawkins. Going. He's got the advantage. Backs in. Hawkins kicks it out to the right wing. Out right. Two minutes remaining. Hawkins grabs the rebound inside. That offensive rebound didn't come to him by accident. He was right where to be. <laughs> Great pass. Stalwood lets it go. Hawkins hauls it in. That's his third rebound of the contest. There's no question what kind of defense they're in, Vern. In a minute. Yes. That defender was really nice to come out as he tried to make the shot. Yep, that's an open and shut case. He got it. Hmm. Shake things up a little bit with some subs. Hawkins needs a breather. He gets the so he so went down early. Got a quick breather, but they need him back on the floor. We came back with our bench a bit. Gatlin inbounds the ball. 134 left in the first half. We're right in this thing. Pitches to the right side. Hicks. Beats it to the free throw line. Takes it up. Got a hand Give on me it. that. He just exploded off the floor to time that block. Wonderful anticipation by the defender. Not good. Ah. Uh. It's scooped up by Giles. I like how he gets himself into defensive position at the right place, the right time yet again. Gatlin goes to the crossover. Ledbetter. Catches it down low. Over Sohan backs him down. That last nice. shot from 12 feet. Made. You have to love the way he took it to his man. I think the modern shot clock is 30 seconds. 
Pretty sure it is for college basketball now instead of 35. There's some other changes too, obviously, that have taken place that aren't in this game. Passes it to the wing. Well, good D. Skips it to the baseline. Uh, Take a one point lead and a half. Can't complain with that. For being rusty. We left some threes on the table we should have hit. Let's see who we have as our player of the half. Bill Laurie has been just deadly burned. The hoop must look five feet wide to him right now. I like now. that we have a balanced attack, right though. Anybody can score in our in our top five. In top eight. Our starting five, anybody can score. Tremendous effort from our player of the half. Let's see what the halftime says. We're doing terrible on the offensive glass. We can play more bench players. Team can't shoot. No need to pressure so hard on D. Alright. Alright, let's get back into it. We're all set to begin the second half. Get off the court, people. Wow. The Yolo inbounds it to start the second half. Gong has it right wing. Dishes top of the key. The Yolo dumps it off. I want to pressure him though, that's my style. Catches it, top of the key. The Yolo swings it to the wing, to the inside. Dishes it to the low block. Gatling. Nice. Give me that. Gracie Wilson has more on what went on in halftime. Gracie? During halftime, I talked with Coach Davis. He said that he isn't satisfied with a small lead and is going to try to force the issue in the second half. He continued mm. by saying that his players responded best when they played out of their comfort zone. By mixing things up, he hopes to shake up the opponent's confidence. Back to you, Vern. Great job, Tracy. Thanks for the update. Ah, uh, my bad. I hope he didn't shoot. It's not comfortable from behind the three. Pass to the strike. Give me that. Stolen away by Webb. Oh, the quick is. Before they even knew what hit them, he made off with that one. Hawkins backs down. Catches it, top of the key. Low Give me three more. Three point land. He's two for three from downtown. Goff dishes to the strike. Good D, guys. Baseline. Gatlin unloads. Off target from 16 feet. The D recognized the shot was coming and got out there on him. Nicely done. Dumps it down low. Hope three, but it's retrieved by Webb. Over Sohan. Feeds it to the left wing. Hawkins backs in. Webb has it right wing. Yeah. That last trade, no good. Hawkins. Boom. Three for seven for the game. Mm. 
feeds top of the key. Child dumps it off. If you can just control Gatling. Gets it on the inside. Gatling passes to the right. Backs him down to the elbow. Good T. Raises up. Collected inside by the arm. Swing. Feeds it to the elbow. Child catches it inside. Yeah. Webb from downtown. Boom. He's shooting 66% from deep. The crowd is turning on them. To end the run. Good box out. And the board picked up by Ovisolan. They can't seem to put an end to this run. They need to get their offense going and soon. Ovisolan backs in with the shot. Can't connect from the white block. They've still got a 12 point lead. Is steady. Passes it to the left. Gatlin pulls the trigger. No good on the baseline jumper. Over Sohan. Dishes it to the baseline. Crosses it over. Get in there. Uh. Wipes the board off the window. Flipped it up and out. His team really needs him to hit that. That's an over and back violation. Things just aren't substitution on the court. Turnovers like that tell a story for how this game is played out. Over Sohan inbounds the ball. Takes the three. Mm. Offline by Lori. But they still lead by 12. Stalworth bounces it to the right side. Giles, the crossover. Skips it to the paint. Hick goes up. Hits the layup after the front face freezes the V. He's shooting 75% for the game. Lori. Webb catches it. Right wing. High post. Hawkins backs down. But it's recovered by Hawkins. Laurie fires. Misses the long run. Still a 10 point lead. Has it right side. Hicks hands it off. Stalwart passes to the wing. Here's the spin move to the free throw line. Dishes to the left block. No way. A lot of can't cut the lead for single digits. Let's run something here. Over Sohan. Passes it to the left wing. Takes it up. Knocks down the first one. Both teams are going to make some substitutions. You see Davis wants more experience out the floor and they're bringing on the senior. Wonder if we're breaking in the top 25. If we get this win. Gets the second to fall as well. Hayton inbounds the ball. Washington calls time. Let's keep playing that defense. Well, 
let's get back to the action. Alotti gets it outright. Up the backboard and in. They're now behind by 10. Just over 13 minutes left in the second half. Over Sohan. Backs in. Right side. Nice. Uh. But it's recovered by Webb. Mm. That shot won't fall. But they're still up by 10. Skips it to the wing. Hayden elevates. Uh. Stops it. Hayden now they get the lead to eight. This looks like a 1 3 1 matchup with some minimum tendency. They might be looking to trap in the corners. Beats it to the top of the key. Swing pass, right wing. Over Sohan. It's blocked. Follows his miss. Alani falls uh, on the board. Alani did a good job to grip <coughs> the Perfect position that time. Snatched away. Catches it, right wing. Webb throws it up. Sinks it with a high post. Me. 16 points, and he leads all scorers. Dishes to the right wing. Goes up. It goes straight nice. to the after the shot. The Huskies will make some substitutions. Webb inbounds the ball. About 11 and a half minutes left in the second half. Laurie passes to the baseline. McElroy from close range tricks it off the front. Trying to get him a post up opportunity. Stripped away by McElroy, and that'll be his second steal of the contest. That's defense, Vern. He wasn't fooled by that crossover at all. Top of the key. Over Sohan. Has it out left. This is it to the right. Backs down. Over Sohan. Block. Couldn't get the shot off in time. They end up turning it over. Someone's got to take charge out there. Bro, to make sure they find a good shot. Hayton inbounds the ball. Washington needs to cut down on the turnovers. And Tracy is near their bench. Tracy? The head coach is not sure for quoting the issue. He told his assistants fundamentally oh. abysmal. And then added, the only players I want on the floor right now are the ones that can take care of the ball. Thanks, Tracy. Passes it to the mm. wing. Nixon gets it top of the key. Tricky Pass, Nixon out there. Good Nixon. D guys. Shoots it. Block. He followed his man right up and was able to get a hand on the ball. Marie dishes it to the left. Swings it to the right wing. From Give me that. The mm -hmm. shot was short by Webb. But they're still out in front by 10. Block. Passes back. High post. Doing this because we're playing good D. Diallo backs him down. Nice. Bronson. Bronson. 
Lori puts it up. Nice. They're now up by 13. Washington falls time. Boom. Got one left. Let's give Lori a break and get Doyle out there who can fire away. Can't believe I'm doing this coming off not playing for a while. I'm pretty rusty. Inbounds the ball. Shaking that rust right off. Stalwart kicks it out to the right wing. Left wing. Passes to the free throw line. Hayton. Hits the layup. Eight points and he's his team's leading scorer. About eight and a half minutes left in the second half. Nice little crossover. Got mm. a hand on it. He read that Bad shot possession. so beautifully. He knew exactly when to go up and get that one. Wonderful execution. Gaw catches it. Baseline. To the rim. Ah, oh, and one. Not good. Miss it. He can't come away. Oh, don't miss it. Oh, my gosh. Four point play. Brings it up the floor. McElroy has it right wing. Webb with the crossover. And one. Whew. Pretty burn. Webb doing his thing. Got to get downhill. Can't convert the three point play. Stalwart skips it to the right side. Diallo backs him down. Harry Diallo. About seven and a half minutes left in the second half. Right wing. Williamson beats it to the left wing. Doyle gets it down low. Dish right side. What a pass. Marie. Yeah. Uh. Hot potato. Got Substitution needed out on the floor. He didn't get much of a rest. Diallo inbounds the ball. Have a little rest here. Has it on the low block. Stalwart passes it to the left side. Left wing dishes to the top of the key. Gatling. Give me that. That's the shot you work for, Bill, even though he's not their number one option. The defense will have to show him some respect because he will hit that given another chance. Swings it to the wing. Williamson catches it out left. Uh, trying to take advantage of the size difference. Seeing those pump fakes because it gives him an opportunity to steal the ball. The yellow backs in. Intercepted. Give me that. And that'll be his third steal so far. Such great instincts. He knew exactly where the ball was going. Williamson beats it to the baseline. Left wing. Takes a three. Oh, Ferdinand. Now lead by ten. With a timely three. Not Give me that. Loose, but it's recovered by Giles. Oh, get back, get back, get back. Stalwart. Dice 
dicey pass. Diallo has it baseline. Shoots. He's got 12. Just over five minutes left in the second quarter. Let's go timeout here. We'll take a timeout. Hawkins. So long. Lori. Let's keep playing D. Coach Davis has a new lineup that isn't extremely experienced. This could have an effect on the team's chemistry. Let's see. Opa Sohan inbounds the ball. Pass left wing. Hawkins uses the crossover. The mm. Eagles really had a difficult time forcing the ball out of his hands. Crossover, high bounce, low dribble, around the back, through the legs. He can really handle it. Ah! Dang, flab it. Miss it. You're under pressure. He completes the three point play. About four and a half minutes left in the second half. Rises and dishes. Hawking backs down. Beyond the arc. Mm, Doyle just can't get it to go. Fifth rebound in this one. That was a much quicker shot than they might have liked, but it was a pretty open look, so it's tough to fault him. Hook loose. Give me that. The D was really waiting for him. Boom. Keep the heat on. With emphasis. He went back court. Obviously, that could have been avoided. That's just one of those mental mistakes that happens every once in a while. Over Soha inbounds the ball. Catches it, top of the key. Tipped away, but it's retrieved by Webb. Hawkins lobs it to the middle. Doyle, the shot down low. Mm. It rolls off the front rim and out. They're still up by nine. High post. Dishes it to the right corner. No. Nah. Doyle reels it in. He just didn't look comfortable on that shot, Burn, and you can see it in the result. Hawkins backs in. Beats it to the left wing. Tosses it up. Three-point range by Webb. Season he average for Webb. He went back court again. That's a great D. Things just aren't going their way. So the turnovers like that tell a story for how this mission is played out. Man, we took it to him in the second half. Inbounds the ball. Catches it left side. Uses the crossover. Theodore Hawkins. So that's what. That's how you have to use him. He's got such great ball handling that he can get an isolation and then make a move and a quick shot. Get it out. We're making a statement with this game. It off. I wants another three. Feeds to the free throw line. Takes the shot. The high post jumper was off target by Obasoan. But they still lead by 14. Why wants to put the exclamation point on this win? Has it top of the key. Two minutes remaining. Two minutes. Bounces it to the left. Ah. Uh, no problem. And that'll give him the 
point chance. Calchard is good for a three-point call. Webb inbounds the ball. Webb has been lights out. Oba Sohan hands it off. Webb. Sohan backs him down. Hawkins gets it far side. Marie, nice little crossover. Can't finish in the post. They still have an 11 point lead. Bounce pass, right wing. Child has it baseline. Gatlin dishes to the stripe. Diallo keeps it alive on the offensive end. Goff spins. Can't cut the lead to single digits. We're going to do it. Take out number, what were they, 21? That stopped my booster confidence. Washington. Right wing. Backs down. Skips it to the right. Laurie crosses it over, takes it up. Get in. Shooting two. He makes the first. Well, it definitely boosts us up in the mid major poll. I don't know if we'll crack the top 25, though. And he'll come away one of two. Deflected. The Huskies will we should have uh, some leverage from last year's performance. That's why it's so important to stay active on defense. Gatlin inbounds the ball. Passes it to the baseline. Back, right wing. Child gets it, right wing. Goff puts it up, off the mark, thanks to the tight D. That'll do it. And that's all for this one. UC Davis beats oh. the Huskies, 71 to 59. And now it's time to show you our player of the game. I put 21, 3 of 5 from downtown. And now some moves. Now let's go back to Greg Gumbel with today's version of the Pontiac Game Changing Performance. Hi and welcome everyone to the 2K Sports Studios. I'm was Greg it a play Gumbel by Ledbetter? Bring you our Pontiac Game Changing Performance. It's no secret that getting momentum no. on your side is one of the keys to winning basketball. It was a big play. The UC Davis Aggie used this shot to take off on a huge run. This game might have had a much different outcome if it wasn't for this sequence. Thanks, Greg, for Tracy Wolfson and Bill Raftery. This is Vern Lundquist saying thanks All right, for joining so. us for College Hoops on 2K Sports. Nice little upset victory. And check out this box score, man. It's very nice for us. Very nice. 12 for Hawkins. Obasone was quiet with 6, 2 for 9, but Laurie had 14. Webb with 21, McAvoy with 7 off the bench. Everybody scored. Pretty cool. We'll do our recruiting next time. So I want to say thanks for joining me. And uh, I'll see you then. Peace out, everybody.